Clackamas County firefighters dousing flames near South Nyber and Redland Road. The 40-acre brush fire broke out just before one Friday near Oregon City. Neighbors got level two and three evacuation notices. More than a dozen told to leave now, including Joyce Walker. I went uh, and I've had enough experience with fires that we just got in our car and we came up here. Here being Oregon City High School. That's where volunteers with the Red Cross Disaster Action Team were waiting to help. People have to go someplace. When they're evacuated, they need a safe place to be and just be able to give them information, maybe a little bit of comfort. Back at the fire, flames threatened 17 homes. A burning tree came within 10 feet of a house. One firefighter sustained minor injuries while working on the fire line. They were checked out at a hospital and released. All week long, crews from multiple agencies have been responding to brush fires. High temperatures, low humidity, and increased wind creating a trifecta of fire danger. In response, several counties, including Clackamas, placed a temporary ban on backyard burns. It's unclear what caused this fire. We need the public's help and, and really being responsible with the use of, of burning and, and fire. Uh, be aware of your conditions, and certainly as these events tend to unfold throughout the summer. Be aware of, of the evacuation levels and what they mean. That was critically important last year in 2020. The Red Cross urges everyone to prepare an emergency evacuation kit, something that includes necessities like medication. That stuff know where it is and easily accessible. So when they do have to evacuate, they can get it put it in their car and evacuate quickly. By early evening, crews had made enough progress to downgrade evacuation levels. Everyone, including Joyce Walker, could go home. It's just always better to be safe than sorry. At the end of the day here, no structures were damaged. And while the fire is under control, crews say they plan to stay out here all night to keep an eye on it. In Clackamas County, Catherine Cook, KGW News.